Okay, another week has passed. Uh, damn, it's been a week, but that's crazy. So what I did this week was pretty much all I did was Anki for UWorld. Um, there's a lot more cards than I anticipated. I have about 2.5k cards I have to go through. As of now, I've only gone through about um, 1,000 of those cards, and those are Psych Soch cards. Um, but it's really made me realize that making your own cards really, if you have the time and if you really want to put in the effort, the cards go by so quick. Like the, I do about 183 cards, and if it's not my cards, it takes forever. But if it's the cards that I made, it's so much easier just to go through them. Um, it takes me about two hours. It took me two hours today to go through 183 closed cards. Um, so really, I think if I had about a year to study for this exam, I would have just made my own cards for everything. However, I was too lazy. And honestly, there are so many other good pre-made decks out there like Jack Sparrow or um, Jack Sparrow, Mile Down, all those great decks. Uh, I probably wouldn't. If I had to do it again, I probably still would probably use one of those pre-made decks, especially for biology, because there's just so much stuff for biology, and I don't really want to make all the cards for it. But I made all my cards for chemistry and physics and uh, organic chemistry, and I thought those were really helpful, especially for chem phys. Um, this section, I feel you have to make your own cards because this is such a problem-solving section. Only you know what your weaknesses are, and it doesn't make sense to make cards on stuff you already know um and because it's so problem solving right like it, you probably benefit from putting problems like when i do chem fizz and when i get stuff wrong i usually put the problem into the anki card too so that you know i don't lose the ability to be able to do that kind of problem so you know it's it makes it just easier but you can only do that if it's your own deck you know if it's someone else's deck i guess you could also add problems if it was someone else's deck but it just be less streamlined. Like maybe that problem has a concept that, you know, you don't want, you just don't want redundancy. You don't want to have a problem and then also another car that kind of just says the same thing as this problem. It just, it's just sort of redundant. You, it just makes your life kind of a little bit worse. So making your own deck for Kemp is definitely, I think, is the best way to go for it. Um, but for biology, obviously, Jack Sparrow, that's the gold standard. Um, doing Jack Sparrow got me about 87% on UWorld and 91% on UWorld Biology and 91% on UWorld Biochemistry. So I thought it really prepared me well, but also I'm a, my major in undergrad was a biology major, so that could have played a role into it. Um, and the other thing that I did this week was I did my first batch of AMC cars and I have to say that compared to Jack Weston, AMC Cars is so much harder. Um, I was in here thinking that maybe it'd be so much easier because that's what I've heard. Like AMC Cars, though the logic is so much easier. Um, I actually don't really know much about that just yet. I've only done about 10 questions of the AMC Cars and specifically the Cars Diagnostic, the most recent Cars practice that came out last year in October, but wow. I think that it's, the passages are just so much more complex and they're so much harder to get through. Like with Jack Weston, there's a clear point. And it's really easy to read, but sometimes the questions suck in a way. And sometimes they're too easy. Sometimes they're too hard. Um, but when you get to AMC cars, the passages are really weird. And they're, it's very hard for me to highlight what exactly is the main point. I read through them faster, but I don't really understand what I'm reading versus Jack Weston. I can really understand what I'm reading, but I might not understand the questions. So it's definitely a bit of an adjustment. Um, don't slack off on it. Um, I've been just doing one passage a day because I feel like that really lets me, it doesn't make me burn out. Um, and it really lets me kind of internalize the AMC logic. And after I do those questions, I always thoroughly review them. I'm keeping a spreadsheet right now um, of like, I'm writing down why I got it wrong, what was my logic. And I think that's gonna help me keep track of what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. But yeah, it's it's just so, I don't know, the, the passages are just so much more convoluted and so much more complex. Um, it's an adjustment, it's an adjustment, right? Um, hopefully I'll, score better in my later practices but 
for now it's a big adjustment. Um, and those are really, that's really all I've been doing now. Um, been watching a lot of K-dramas too on my off time. That's been pretty fun. Been trying to, I understand now why people go home and they don't watch these melodramas, these Korean melodramas and they're really like really thinking heavy dramas because after a day of studying and I'm sure after a day of long work, the last thing you want to think about is, you know, like cognition and stuff. Like you just want to, you just want to see some like lovey-dovey, you know, not very, not very mind intensive stuff. And that's really, those have been, the, those have been the dramas. I never understood it back in undergrad why people watch dramas like, um, like Her Private Life or, or, um, uh, what was that other one? Secretary Kim. I never understood why people watch dramas like that, but now I really understand why people watch dramas like that. Um, anyways, that was last week. And this week, um, it's just going to be more Anki and more AMC cars. So I look forward to getting this week through and, you know, onwards to my June 18th test date.